Jamie Singleton, and I'm joined here with my coworker, Brandon Minnick. Hey, Brandon, I just learned about this thing called in-parameter modifier. Can you explain that to me? Yeah. So these are really cool. It was introduced fairly recently in C Sharp version 7.2. And what it does, it allows us to make the input parameters to our methods read only. So what do I mean by that? Let's let's check out some of the code we have here. Yeah. Now I've created a record called person where we'll pass in a string first name, string last name. When you call two string on it, it prints out first name, space, last name. And this probably looks a little weird, a little silly, because records are kind of new. Have have you played around with those yet, Jamie? Actually, I was just able to watch the C Sharp Feature of the Week video about records. So if you haven't had a chance, go ahead and watch that video and come back to this one. Right on. Yeah, check out that link in the description below. Yeah, so here in our main method, we are initializing a person called Brandon Minnick, and then we pass it into this print method. And all the print method is doing is saying uh, console.writeLine and just saying string. So we can pass in anything we want. It'll print to the screen. And actually, I'm going to delete this because I'm not ready to introduce the in modifier just yet. But what do you think about this code so far, Jamie? Well, it looks pretty simple. But what if I were to change the value of the input? That's right. So good point, because yeah, here I can set input to be anything I want. I could say input equals three, since it's an object. I could say this is a new person. So I could always say um, change it to Jamie Singleton every time. <laughs> and this is totally valid. But it kind of breaks the expectation of our code. So when I call print, I expect it to print this value that I pass in. But really what's happening is that input is changing to be Jamie Singleton. And every time we call print now, it'll print Jamie Singleton to the screen. So we just introduced a bug. And one of the ways we could have prevented this bug is bringing back the in keyword. So that in parameter modifier, like you said earlier, makes this input read only. And now we get a red squiggle here because we're trying to reinitialize input to be something new. And one of the things I love about in is that we can also see it here in IntelliSense. So if I'm calling this method from maybe I'm in a different class or even a different library, well, I still see here that it says in, in the IntelliSense. So I can rest assured knowing that whatever object I pass into here, can't be modified, it'll always be the same, it'll always be read-only, and I can sleep better at night knowing that. <laughs> it sounds like a great feature. To learn more about our other C-sharp features, head on over to our documentation linked below.